Does he get rid of me? And uh, and then my girlfriend, she's a Jamaican with her uh, friend, and they wanted our information. And her friend says, "So two black girls can't be with a white guy." And uh, they're like, "What's that? What's that?" And I'm like, "Well, it is true." Like. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. I, I can't do it. We'll do it live. We'll do it live! Fuck it! Do it live! I, I'll write it, and we'll do it live! Jeffrey in the building. <laughs> All right, my man, welcome to the show, man. I really appreciate you uh, stopping by and chopping it up with us, man. Um, So yeah. I, I talked to uh, a mutual friend of ours, and uh, yeah. he mentioned that uh you had some crazy story of you you know having a couple of you know friends in the truck with you but you was i'm going to say wrongfully terminated because they thought you was human trafficking so let's get into that so take us back to yeah. take us way back so to what happened so basically, uh, what happened was uh, I was coming uh, down from Canada with a load to go to uh, Baltimore, uh, Maryland, and my girlfriend uh, and her friend was in Patterson, New Jersey, and uh, I haven't seen her for a long time because she's staying with her brother. Um, so I found out there I have another run that went from Baltimore back up to Quebec. Uh, so I said. What I'll do is uh, we can spend time and uh, you can come with me down to Baltimore from New Jersey to Baltimore. And then I'll, when I come back up, I'll drop you off and then head back up. So basically, I picked her up in Patterson, New Jersey. We spent uh, the uh, day together, her, her and her friend, and uh, uh, stayed on the... Um, um, in Maryland on the uh, 95 on a rest stop for the night. Went and delivered the load in Baltimore and uh, picked up uh, the other load the same day in Baltimore. Starting to head back up to New Jersey and then dropped them off in Patterson. But I wasn't going to make it with the hours, with the U.S. hours to get back up. So uh, I stopped uh, on the 87. And uh, the next day, uh, the work calls and says that uh, he had uh, two girls in the car. And I'm like, no, I didn't. And then they said, well, we got a report of a person that in Baltimore that you were human trafficking. I'm like, well, I wasn't human trafficking. I was uh, had my girlfriend and a friend. And uh, then they said, well, oh, that's, uh, that's not right and all this. And uh, you have to come see us whenever you come back to the yard. I'm like, all right, uh, am I fired or anything? No, 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 you're not fired or anything. Just come back to the yard. So I'm kind of worried what's, what's going on. So anyways, I go back to the yard. They bring me into the, uh, into the um, uh, office there. And uh, the head guy of, since uh, SGT got bought out by TSI, the head guy at TFI didn't want to even see me or anything. And then the human resource and the other person uh, said, map it out where you went. Oh, uh, that's wrong. You're not supposed to have people in the truck. And you only have two seatbelts. I said, I know that rule. You can't play me dumb on that rule. If your two seats are full, you're allowed somebody in the back. Oh, no, no, that's wrong. I said, my, uh, my uh, trucking school, we had to do that. Well, your trucking school is wrong. I said, oh, that's false information. And then I said, well, we got somebody by human trafficking. I'm like, okay, show me the papers. No, we can't show you the papers. We can't show you that. And I said, all right. And then they wanted my girlfriend and her friend's information. And then I stepped out and the head guy comes in and talks to them. Then they come in and give me my resignation. But we're under union. So the union reps like that's wrong information. Whereas, well, if he got caught for human trafficking, they should have put pulled him because it was a port. They should have uh, uh, 
stopped him there, or couldn't he couldn't even cross into Canada, which I had no problems. Nobody stopped me either way. Nope, nope. So basically, they just wanted to get rid of me, and uh, and then my girlfriend, she's a Jamaican with her uh, friend, and they wanted their information, and her friend says. So two black girls can't be with a white guy, and uh, like what's that? What's that? And I'm like, well, it is true. Like, like what? What you going? And uh, and uh, anyways, uh, uh, so they maybe well, I didn't have a car there, and I'm I live in Ottawa. That's about three hours away, two hours away. So they sent me with another driver, left my stuff in the truck. And, uh, and, um, uh, cleaned my whole truck out, my personal belongings and everything, and, uh, sent them to Montreal and I had to go to Montreal to pick them up. And, and I went to pick them up and couldn't get in. I did get the union rep to argue with them to get, let me in. And supposedly, uh, uh, now, that I was uh, falsely we, uh, removed. The union is fighting for a severance pay uh, for me, trying to get uh, that back for me. Wow, that's uh, crazy, man. I mean, yeah. I mean, you. So you went to pick up. Uh, you 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 called up your girlfriend. You said, "Hey, I'm I'm going to be in your I'm going to be in your neighborhood. You want to get together or whatever." Our favorite Korean's getting robbed right now. You serious? First, he tells me his wife has the flu. Oh man, that bitch would work if she was dead. And he gives me the coffee for free. Shit. He is getting robbed. How do you want to play it? And your girlfriend yeah. thought it was a good idea to bring her friend with her. But I, I guess it would be a good idea to bring the friend because maybe she didn't want to come with you by herself. So let me ask you this question. Well, how, yeah. how long have you and the girlfriend been together or talking? Uh, we, we've been together. We've been together for over 10 years and all that. Okay. Uh, but, okay. Um, yeah, it's just that her, she was staying with her friend in New Jersey, and I didn't want to say, hey, I take you away from your friend for because she's staying with her friend for a week. So that's why they both came, because just to say, hey, be nice and say, hey, if your friend wants to come too for a ride, it's fine. I, so. Okay. Okay. She's, uh, yeah. So that's basically what she uh uh, and she asked her friend if she wanted, sure, because they're both from Jamaica, but they're staying with their friend, uh, their parent, their family members in um, New Jersey and Connecticut. So they never seen the U.S. or anything. So okay, so both of you, so both of the girls is from Jamaica, and, and your main squeeze is from Jamaica. How how did you guys connect it? Like, how did you guys become um, you know I, become boyfriend and I girlfriend? Worked- yeah, I worked with her, um, our brother in this company before her brother got his own truck in Canada and worked with another one. And uh, I worked with her brother, and he, uh, she came up from Jamaica to Canada to spend time with her brother. And that's how we met, and we kind of connected. And and uh, ever ever since, I've uh, been... Uh, uh, Y'all yeah, been yeah. together ever since. Okay, one thing led yeah, to another, yeah, yeah. and... And y'all been together ever since. All right, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. All yeah. right. So the company yeah, that you was so the company that you was driving for. Um, yeah. Is well, let me start with this question: Is there any cameras in your truck? Uh yeah. There's a camera facing outwards, but there's no camera facing in in the truck. Okay, so, so if there was, but, so obviously it must have been sound then. That's that that can emanate from the truck inside the truck yeah okay supposedly, so uh supposedly the union rep says what happens is they can the two side mirrors on the front of the hood they can see the reflection off the hood so they see anything on the sides or anything with the camera if you're getting out of the door or something they yeah that's that's like possible that. yeah because it, yeah. especially at night you know the reflections on the inside of the truck comes real well especially in the front uh, uh, front facing camera. So they, yeah. so I, I guess something must have triggered the camera 
and it started to record. The company was able to see that you had your visitors in the truck or anything like that. Let me stop and play a little bit of devil's advocate. Of course, yeah. of course you didn't bother to call the company and say, hey, you know, I, I got my girlfriend and her friend in the truck with me. You you didn't bother yeah, to do yeah. that, right? No, no. It's been, it's been uh, there's been a lot of little issue things going on, and I didn't think that they would know or anything like that. So, yeah, uh, that part there is what I did wrong. Uh, I probably should have called. Um, uh, again, like the union rep said, at most that should be at least a suspension or something for that. Yeah, I, I understand that. They, so you was called, you know, they well, actually, they gave you a call. And I, I guess your fleet manager must have called you up and say, hey, bud, you know, um, we just need to see you at the at the terminal very right quick. Of course, you going to ask the question why. But nine times out of 10, if you're going to see safety, the yeah. uh, the the fleet manager isn't going to tell you that until you actually get to the terminal, right? Exactly, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. So you go in, you go in, you sit down, and then they they threw it at you. They 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 just came off out of the pocket and say human trafficking? What I mean, why I mean, human trafficking? I mean, why yeah. why was why was human trafficking even brought up? Every day for the last 10 years, Loretta there has been giving me a large black coffee. Today she gives me a large black coffee, only it's got sugar in it. A lot of sugar. I just came back to complain. How you boys put those guns down? That's basically, they, they try to, they try to sneak a little thing to change the story and things like that. And, and... They they just brought it up like they said we we got a call kind of seeing if I'll, I'll change my story probably and uh, we got a call of somebody saying you've been human trafficking from the police. Okay, was you ever stopped by the police or was you no? When you say you delivered yeah. your load, so of course you had your your guests. Would you? Did anybody yeah. did anybody at the receiver see the people in the truck? No. No one saw the people in the truck, and uh, and uh, they they were sleeping because it it was seven it was at least it was six o'clock in the morning seven o'clock in the morning, so they were sleeping in the back, so nobody saw them at all. So who do you yeah. think would would call in and say, "Hey, I saw your driver human trafficking people in his truck"? Uh, the only place that I could think, but they the guy told me uh, the human. I mean, not the human, but the uh, union rep said they would would have stopped you right there. It was the guy uh, at the uh, port in B Baltimore? And you have to go into one of those uh, ports because you're yeah. a Canada driver. Okay, so exactly, yeah. So even okay, so you you went through the port, but you was never pulled over or anything like that. You was never questioned. No, I, what well. I ain't no. going to say never questioning, but was you questioning yeah. about the people that was in the truck? Nope. I went into the uh, port. Uh, the officer signed me, uh, uh, asked me my information, took it and took the plate and trailer plate number and everything. Went in, got the uh, load and uh, and uh, I had to park because I didn't have a twit card. So I had to park to drop the trailer. They went and loaded the trailer, brought it out to me. I hooked up got the paperwork, gave it to the officer, and was never questioned at all, and went up to uh, the TA and to weigh the load, and was never questioned. Wow. So, yeah. again, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to assume or speculate that yeah. they, the, the camera must have triggered the reflection of your of of your female friends came through the camera yeah. and of course the audio 
must have been recording, so they must have heard the conversation between all three of you at the time. Um, must have, yeah, yeah. Supposedly it's not an odd, uh, odd. Supposedly there's no, uh, it's just the uh, camera itself. It's not any audio on it, like uh, like hear it talking or anything. But I, I could be wrong. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to assume that's how they figured out that somebody was in the truck. Okay, okay. So, so instead of just being open with you and saying, hey, you know, we got confirmation from the camera because, you know, every company is trying to play the the camera thing like well, it doesn't record and it doesn't do this and it doesn't do that. But in actuality, the camera is always recording. So if anybody tells you, I, I don't care, American, Canadian, whoever tells you that, Hey, you know, the camera only comes on when this is when it's an event. No. The camera is always recording. It triggers yeah. when it's an event. But other than that, it's always recording. And don't let them say, "Oh, well we we can't see what's going on." Fun fact, they was able to go in they are able to go in via key code and look at the footage without even no triggeration. So, yeah, they can do that. They can do that. I, I don't care yeah. what nobody yeah. said. I've been driving for a long time to to figure out. And plus, I already called the one company, the Linux, uh, Litex camera system uh, company. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I already know the ins and outs of, of the driver cam. Uh, man, that's unfortunate. Um, so instead of just saying, so instead of just coming straight out and say, you know, we, we saw it on the camera, we assumed that you was trafficking, but you, you told them that was your girlfriend and her friend in the truck. After, after you told them that, what, what they had to say after you told them that that was your girlfriend and her friend. They said, well, we still have uh, human trafficking and we need their, their information and all their information. So the police want their information. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So the police is involved with this now? That's what, that's what they say. Oh, that's what they say. Did you give, well, did you give them their information? I mean, I, I would assume the only information that they could possibly need is just their names. That's about it. Um, no, they wanted uh, they wanted uh, their name. They wanted the address that they're staying at and their their license and all that. Oh, they like doing too much. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they couldn't just yeah. <laughs> they they couldn't just ask for the name and phone number and let one of the let one of the you know, safety directors call them up and, and clarify the fact that they wasn't part of no human traffic ring. You know, one of them can verify the fact yeah. that you that you are the boyfriend and the other one was the friend. Couldn't somebody just yeah. do that? Damn good coffee. And hot. Uh, they could have. That's what the, they should have done is what they should have done, but they don't. They wanted, uh, they wanted everything like that. And uh, my girlfriend and her friend didn't want to give the information either. Right. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Want, I wouldn't give them the information either. I would have just clarified yeah. the fact that you know you was my you was my boyfriend and this is my friend. You know. Exactly. That's that's all y'all need to know. There wasn't no human trafficking. Nobody wasn't tied up or anything like that. But but since you didn't uh, give them. All of that information was they was they still able to get in contact with your lady friend or no? They, they never even did. Never even bothered. Okay. After they basically fired, they never even did in. All right, man. So, so man, that's that's yeah. that's a crazy story, bro. I mean, <laughs> that, that, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's why the uh, that's why we're under the union too, and uh, that's why the union rep said no. That's uh, false information. We're fighting for it, and supposedly uh, uh, they're gonna fight to uh, get 
I've been there for seven years, so they're gonna fight for seven years of stubborn space. Okay, so they're gonna try. They're gonna try and get something for you. So, was you? Uh, uh, was was that? Uh, was that on your record anywhere? Was did they put that on your record nope. as far as being terminated? Why they terminated you? Did they put uh, any type of human trafficking or anything like that on your record? They never put any anything on the record at all. Okay. They, uh, they never put anything, nothing on the record uh, because it basically was all false. And uh, 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 like I'm working for another company that's. A, actually treats your drivers properly right now and i can cross back into the states and back up no problem and check my record and there's nothing on there well yeah. if there's <laughs> i guess if there's any teachable moment out of this situation it will definitely be you know call and let your fleet manager know that you may have a rider or you know just check and see if you can bring a writer or something like that because I know some companies, you know, definitely feel some kind of way, especially if you're parked at a truck stop. They don't, they they don't allow, you know, people in the truck or whatever. That's, I mean, that's a hard, yeah. that's a hard push right there. Uh, do you think the human trafficking uh, uh, situation came up on the fact that? Uh, you 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 cross borders or anything like that because you didn't you you was in the u.s when you met up with 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 your girlfriend and her friend and the places that y'all yeah. went to was in the u.s right exactly yeah. okay so you didn't bring them back over to canada oh no i hope i don't fall <laughs> No, because they couldn't uh, cross back into Canada because they're with their family there. Okay, see, that's... Now, I can probably understand if you was to bring them back across Canada, then, yeah, I yeah. could probably see... I could probably see that. But considering the fact that every interaction happened in the U.S. and, you know, you wasn't pulled over, you wasn't questioned... Your girlfriend and their yeah. friend didn't give no indication of of any wrongdoing or anything like that. You know, y'all yeah. just got together, had a good time, and you dropped them back off. You went back up the way, and you just got hemmed up on some BS, in other words. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. All, all right, man. Well, hey, uh, <laughs> crazy story. Awesome story, man. I'm, <laughs> I appreciate you. Um, I appreciate you coming on and sharing it, man. Because you know, when our mutual friend told me about it, I was like, "Whoa, I need to hear this, man." So, so thank yeah, you very yeah. much for coming on and sharing your story, man. Yeah, no worries, no worries. Thank you for having me there. Yeah. Big G's got it locked. Boy. Won't you let me out?